everybody. Welcome to Miss Fair's Movement and Fun channel. My name is Farrah Rains, but my kids like to call me Miss Farrah. So if you don't know, I am an occupational therapy assistant and a licensed massage therapist. And I work with children in helping them to develop their fine motor skills and their sensory processing skills. So I have a lot of parents who ask me, should I be using crayons or markers with my child? So today I'm going to talk about crayons versus markers. And you're probably thinking, why? These are tools that we use all the time, especially working with kids. And, I mean, what more can you say about these two tools? Well, I'm coming at you from a therapist mindset. And it usually looks like we're just playing, but there are reasons why we do what we do. And a big reason we use crayons and markers is because we're trying to get our kiddos to build their hand strength or maybe to learn how to color or make different strokes, what we call pre-writing strokes, or even writing the letters of their name. So I thought it would be fun to give you a list of pros and cons of both. And then you can decide what's best to use with your child. It just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Maybe it's participating, or maybe it's working on those fine motor skills. Or maybe it's a calm down tool for your child. Especially if they're so upset and maybe the coloring helps them to calm down. Honestly, I like both. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is crayons. Pro number one. Crayons, they require more pressure. So requiring more pressure means kiddos need to use their muscles. And that's how we build our hand muscles in order to be able to write. Con number one. Let's face it, using crayons means the little one, their hands are going to tire out sooner. And that means they really don't want to use the crayon. Pro number two. Not only do crayons give resistance, they're also great as a tool for working on pencil grasp. So a lot of times we end up with uh, broken crayons. Don't throw them away. A lot of times parents are too quick to throw broken crayons away. Here's the thing guys, the smaller the crayon, it forces our little ones to use their fingertips to hold the crayon. How many times do you see our kiddos holding the crayon using their fist like this? Yeah, I see it daily. So the next time you see this, try giving them 
a half a crayon. It's going to be too difficult to make a fist, forcing them to use their fingertips. So that's a great way to develop their grip. Con or two. Adults see broken crayons and right away into the trash can and they go, stop, don't do that. Keep them, give them to kids. And again, this encourages them to develop a nice crayon grip using their fingertips. <laughs> Pro number three. Crayons give more sensory tactile input. I have kiddos who require sensory input to regulate so they can function within their classroom or their environment. So using crayons, a lot of them they love how they sound or maybe the noise just puts them on edge look at those vibrant colors they're so pretty visually they love to look at them but then again some of my kids it may be too distracting or too much to look at. Three. They could be overstimulating for our kiddos. Something I like to do with kiddos, especially my, my sensory kiddos, I like to do crayon rubbing. So that means you put something underneath the paper and then you just have them press really hard and rub back and forth until they can see the outline of the image. So that's another fun thing to do with our crayons. And then again, that right there would put some of my kids through the roof because of all that scratching noise or maybe just how that feels. So you really need to know your child and watch for cues to see if crayons really are the right tool for them. Let's talk about markers. What's the pros of using markers with kids? Number one, let's be honest. To use a marker, it requires very little pressure. Therefore, it's less work. So a con for using markers is the fact that it requires less energy or muscle to use. Therefore, your child is not gaining hand strength as they would if they were using crayons. number two markers are really fun to use if I have a kiddo who really dislikes sitting at a table and doing art projects I would 
pull out some markers and see if we're interested in trying to color with markers. So this is a benefit of using markers. I mean, come on, who doesn't like, look at those vibrant, beautiful colors. Con number two, using markers, you take the chance of having the marker bleed through the page. And it messes up your project. Or it marks up the surface that you're using. Pro number three. Markers are just downright fun. They come in all kinds of colors. They come in different shapes and sizes. And now they even have markers that smell. So why wouldn't you want to use them? And the best thing about this, years ago, they only came in like a standard size marker. And again, these bigger markers, it usually ends up like this in our little one's hands, especially if they're just learning to hold. But now they make these little tiny pip squeaks. They're so cute. And again, because they're half the size of a mark regular marker, it encourages our children to use their fingertips. Wonderful tool for therapists and teachers and parents. Con number three. Because the markers are so fun and vibrant and we have different sizes and smells and shapes and all that. They can be overstimulating for our kiddos or distracting so then they have a hard time focusing on the activity. So that concludes my list of pros and cons for markers and crayons. I hope you got something out of this and overall in my opinion, I don't feel like one is better than the other because they both serve different purposes, especially when you're working with little kids and you're trying to either work on them participating or if you're working on developing their fine motor skills. So you be the judge of what best works with your child. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope you found this helpful. And if you'd like to see more on just everyday tools, uh, leave a comment. Let's face it, fun is contagious. And if your child sees you having fun, they're going to want to have fun with using crayons or markers. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. It's been fun. Bye.